Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of the Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould. I am the producer of ACS Gallery Talks and I'm here today to introduce you to our featured artists for the month of July, Nancy Wright and Marika Marika Morissette. The show is here until July 28th, but it can be viewed online at the Arts Council of Surrey.ca. The show presents two different presentations or approaches to the theme, Soulful Inspirations. Nancy's work represents a more realistic approach as it portrays her love and passion for nature. Her work reminds viewers of the endless beauty and dynamics of land, water, and sky. Marika's work is fluid and full of color and motion. She feels her work mirrors her journey as she begins to dissolve her, her ego, breaking from that more conventional way of thinking and awakening into a new, more inspirational being. I can tell by looking at the show that both of the artists have a very strong passion in their work, and I'm looking forward to talking to them and learning more about this. So, let's go see the artists. So hi Nancy, it's really great to see you here today. Nice to see you. Yeah, this is awesome. Your first solo show, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm, I would say solo, but there yeah. is two of you. <laughs> Closest to that, yeah. That's right. So tell me, this first painting here, Quiet Reflections, you mm -hmm. say it tells you, it tells us everything that you like about painting. Can you tell us why? Absolutely. I absolutely love reflections in water. It's so calming. It makes me feel so peaceful. And I know that my viewers have felt that way too. They come and say, it just makes me feel like I can breathe. And I love that about anything with water and reflections. I love all the textures in the water. It doesn't have to be an identical reflection. Quite often it's not identical. So you can play a lot with textures and colors. So that's my favorite thing to paint. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And of course, we've all seen that sky, we've all seen those clouds, and uh, mm -hmm. yes, you're right, it yes. is very peaceful. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, well, let's go look at some of your other work. Sure, sounds good, thank you. So, Winter Wandering. And what is the story of this picture here? What is well, it? We went to, uh, on family day, we always say we to go to a park. But of course, that's February, mm -hmm. but I still find the forest to be beautiful any time of year. And you can see one of the trees here don't have the leaves in yet. There's some that they well, are evergreen trees which don't change. I love the lighting in this. I mean, it was cold, it was February, but we had some sunshine. And all the decaying leaves and everything were gorgeous shades of rust. People might think I'm crazy, but in the winter, in the forest, but being an artist has taught me to see things more than I used to. And I just have so much more appreciation for everything in life, I think, because of that. So we went to um, the park in South Surrey, called okay. Camel Valley. Camel Valley, oh, yeah. I never, I'd never been there once before. And we went for a walk, and I just, I always take my own photographs, almost always take my own photographs for paintings. Sometimes I take other people's, but um, I went in this painting. It's on a, a wood panel, painted on the side, so you can see the forest wrapped around the sides. And I just love it. I love to spend time, A, with my family, and me outside whenever possible. And even though it's cold and wintry, I thought it was beautiful. So I took the picture and I thought, this would make a nice painting. And I really like that. Great, great. I totally understand what you're saying. I, I, uh, mm -hmm. I spend a ton of time outside and uh, certainly oh, do lots of walk and yeah. nature. Absolutely. I yeah. would recommend it to anybody. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go look at your other picture. Okay, thank you. Shine Sparkle. This looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this picture. Took this photograph. We went out to uh, lunch at a fish and chip shop in Crescent Beach. And I came out of the restaurant and saw this beautiful view, the sparkling ocean, and the different colors of blue. And oh, 
I grew up going to the beach, going to White Rock, and the memories of the beach are so, so um, important to me, so wonderful. So I took this photograph, and I love the way the sun sparkled on the water. That's why I called it Sunshine Sparkle. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say Crescent Beach. I'm trying to be more inventive with names. And it's kind of an interesting technique that I learned um, a few years back when I took an online course. In order to get nice straight lines in your painting, um, I would use masking tape. But you can't just use the tape that sometimes would seep underneath and you can get funny ridges. So you have to put a layer of gel medium to seal that top of the paint. And then you can just paint all, whatever you want over the top and pull it off while it's still red. Perfectly straight line. It is so rewarding. I love doing it. But as you get closer down to the shore, things become a little bit more jagged and, and more natural the, the, as the water is coming in. So I had to stop doing that because they look freehand down the bottom. But I really enjoyed painting this. It was a lot of fun and it kind of represents how I felt when I walked up and I saw that view. Smell the ocean. I just love it so much. <laughs> oh, totally. I totally think you caught the sparkle. Absolutely. Yes. Good, thank you. Yes, it really just runs across that sand and comes towards the view. I think awesome. maybe one of about twice as big, though, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be a whole wall of just the beach. <laughs> oh, yes, for sure. Yeah. That's well, my sunshine sparkle. <laughs> well, thank you, Nancy. I really enjoyed hearing about your thank work you and uh, seeing what you've done. and, and uh, Mm -hmm. And congratulations on your show. Thank I'm you very much. Sure, we'll see you again. Awesome. Hello, Marika. Hi. Uh, welcome to the studio, other gallery here. I haven't uh, met you before or seen your work, and uh, I'm quite excited to hear what you have to tell us today. Love the colors, love the <laughs> feeling. And uh, so tell us, this is your first painting for us to look at Radical Riptide? Yes, that's right. You'll find a lot of my work is inspired by the ocean, by the water. I love being outdoors in nature. And uh, this is actually one of the largest paintings that I've poured to date. I think it's 50 centimeters by 100 centimeters. Uh, I called it Radical Riptides because it has so many interesting uh, little ripples and wave motion and it just reminded me of the undercurrent that you find uh, in the ocean. And uh, it was created using a flip cup technique. Uh, I pre-mix all of my colors first into uh, cups and then pour them into a larger, in this case a big yogurt container and uh, flipped it right in the center of the painting and then I tilt and let the paint move just the way the water would move in, in the natural environment. And so it just created all of this beautiful movement. It shows the powerful force of water, which kind of makes us reflect on um, life itself and how sometimes we encounter turbulence, but we need to overcome those challenges and just go with the flow of life. That's what this whole poor painting technique does, is it constantly reminds me, it's like a metaphor for life of how we need to go with the flow. <laughs> and this particular painting was featured down at uh, Federation Gallery as part of the water exhibit last fall. So I'm quite proud that it was recognized in that way. Oh, good. Neat. Well, let's go look at one of your other works. Great. Yeah. So, Consciousness. This is an unusual painting. And you tell me that it has a lot of um, uh, feelings, of uh, your spiritual feelings and how you approach your work. Yes, I've been listening to a lot of Eckhart Tolle's uh, podcasts and his teachings about living in the present moment, practicing consciousness to become more aware. And so this particular piece represents that visually for me, the idea of dissolving our ego and letting go of our uh, conditioned thinking and states of mind and just sort of living in the present moment. Um, Eckhart refers to us as uh, individuals are like ripples on the ocean, but at a deeper level, we are the ocean. And so this is what speaks to me when I look at my consciousness painting. And this one was created using a swipe technique, and all of my paints I prepare in advance, uh, and this time instead of pouring them into a cup, I actually pour them directly onto the canvas. I use a couple drops of silicone oil to produce the beautiful cells and the lacing that you see. So for this one, I poured white at the very end at the top and then used a scraping tool and then gently uh, scraped across the canvas to produce this effect that you see. 
and I hope that it just uplifts people. Neat, neat. Yes, it has a very, oh, we've all seen that look, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting and very peaceful too at the same time. Very, very uh, mindful. Okay, well, let's go look at another picture. Sure. Look at this. Interesting title for this painting. I have imagined something big and yet it's not that big. What is this painting all about? Well, the title Limitless is just to remind us not to be boxed in by limited thinking. Um, there are limitless ways you can interpret this painting, for example. Um, when I look at it, I see rain-soaked windows after a beautiful sunrise. Uh, or perhaps I'm going through a car wash and this is all different colors of foam that you see on the glass. There's limitless interpretations and I want people to have the freedom to kind of come at the painting and experience it on an emotional level, not have preconceived notions of what it should be. And um, yeah, my favorite colors were used here, lots of cobalt blues, golds, and shades of metallic green. And again, I used a slight technique to produce the beautiful cells and the lacing in this painting. And you'll notice as well, all of these paintings have um, an epoxy resin finish, which gives it a beautiful high gloss and hopefully adds to that experience of it being uplifting, enlightening, um, and just, yeah, cheerful. <laughs> hey, very interesting. Well, thank you very much for talking to us about your uh, paintings today. I really enjoyed learning about your work and certainly look forward to seeing it more in the future. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Nancy and Marika, for sharing your ideas and art with me today. I really enjoyed learning about your passion and how you project it into your work. Nancy and Marika's show, Soulful Inspirations, can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Centre until July 28th or online at the artscouncilofsurrey.ca.